with the 2018 Thomas A. Fuentes Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage former Assemblywoman and our Republican nominee for the 39th Congressional District, Young Kim. Good evening. This is an exciting night, isn't it? I am truly thrilled to introduce my former boss, Chairman Ed Royce, and this is very personal to me. As you know, I had the unprecedented honor and privilege to work for Congressman Ed Royce for over two decades. He gave me my first start in politics when I first went to work for him when he was in the State Senate, and that was in 1990. I didn't know him, but I was introduced to him by my husband, who is sitting with me today. One of our first conversations we had was about reading. You saw in the video Senator John Lewis talking about how Ed Royce has never been seen without a book. Our conversation led to me, young girl back then, telling him I read Enron's Ella Shrugged. And his eyes widened, and there I was hired on. <laughs> Back then, I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but he took a chance on me and allowed me to grow into someone I never thought I'm capable of. Sometimes we're lucky enough to be forever indebted to someone, someone who believed in you, someone who held you to a higher standard, someone who knew your potential and relentlessly encourage you to maximize that potential. Someone who saw the bigger picture and cared about what truly matters. Ed Royce is my someone. What I know today, what I do today, and how I serve the community today, I learned all of these things from Ed Royce. Ed has a lot of patience. He's a master in the art of negotiation. He's thoughtful, he works hard, and he never stops serving. And I say this all the time, Ed Royce is an Energizer Bunny. <laughs> I'm happy to see his hard work and dedicated service to our community being recognized tonight. Ed has been a tireless public servant for 36 years. The first 10 years in the California State Legislature, the last 26 years in the United States Congress. During those times, Ed has always put the country and the interest of the 39th District first and foremost. Ed's work on the Foreign Affairs Committee has defined his time in Congress. From working on issues on the African continent to Armenian Genocide Resolution, to North Korean Human Rights, and much, much more. Ed Royce has been a voice for American values and ideals across the globe. Ed's work on countering aggression by Russia, Iran, North Korea, with recent sanctions, has helped stake out America's place as a moral leader in an ever-changing world, and has helped force North Korea to come to the negotiating table. Ed has been a champion on Republican values and has encouraged a generation of leaders to run for office and become public servants. And Ed is especially supportive of minority women running for office and has supported people like me, people like my friend Peggy Wong from Yorba Linda City Council, a person like Michelle Steele, who sits on the Orange County Board of Supervisors. Senator Jen Nguyen. And now, Senator Ling Ling Chang. And many, many more. I'm especially honored to have Ed's strong support as we fight together to hold the 39th District red 
and continue to provide that stellar representation the people of the 39th Congressional District has come to know. Ed Royce may be leaving public office at the end of this year, but I, along with many others, and many of you in this room, we will be counting on his knowledge and counsel for many, many years to come. So ladies and gentlemen, to accept the 2018 Thomas A. Fuentes Legacy Award, it's my honor to introduce my friend, Deputy Chief of Staff to Congressman Ed Royce, Sarah Carolyn.